Welcome to this second e-learning module on driving process efficiency through measurement technology. This training focuses on flow measurement and its benefits for processes involving liquids and gases. The module starts out with a recap of the concept of efficiency. In Chapter 2, you can familiarize yourself with the five most important flow measuring principles and learn how flow meters achieve efficiency gains in various applications in the process industry. Chapter 3 will provide a summary and explain where to find more information on the applications. All in all, this module will take you approximately 30 minutes to complete. In Module 1, you have learned that measurement technology can lead to four different types of efficiency gains in the resource-intensive process industry. Depending on how flow measurement devices are applied, they can cause efficiency in one or more of these ways. To review the four types of efficiency gains, please click on the icons. Flow measurement is crucial to any sort of industrial process that includes liquids, gases, or steam. Think of water supply and wastewater, the oil and gas industry, or the production of food and beverages. Five types of flow measurement principles cater for the specific needs of the industries. By walking through the following sections, you will learn how these help increase process efficiency in some of their key application areas. As you return to this page, you can select another measurement technology. Oilless flow meters can measure both mass flow and density. They are used in a wide range of application areas in the process industry. Please click on the tiles to learn more about the key application areas of Coriolis mass flow meters. To recap the functional principle of Coriolis mass flow meters, click on the tile, the measuring principle. When you feel ready for a quick knowledge check, click Take Quiz. For which areas of applications is a Coriolis meter the best choice? Flow meters measure the force resulting from the acceleration of a mass moving toward or away from a center of rotation. Please click on the tabs to learn more about the functioning principle behind Coriolis mass flow meters. To perform the measurement, the measuring tube inside a Coriolis mass flow meter is made to oscillate by a central driver. These small oscillations are the principle used by the Coriolis mass flow meter. The fluid flows through the tube and tries to travel in a straight line. The fluid mass has momentum and, even when contained in a tube, continues to try and travel in a straight line. The inertia of the fluid distorts the tube with a force, Fc but the tube only deflects until it exerts an equal and opposite force on the fluid, Fr. This reaction force is implied by Newton's third law. To each action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Therefore, Fc equals minus Fr. The small deflection of the tube is accurately measured by the Coriolis mass flow meter. Let us now see how these forces are measured. In a twin tube Coriolis meter, the driver resonates both tubes, and the sensors A and B measure deflections between the two tubes. In operation, the driver oscillates the tubes with a very small amplitude of around 0.1 mm. The amplitude is exaggerated in the diagrams to demonstrate the principle. 
The oscillation provides the angular velocity, w, required by the Coriolis principle. The driver oscillates the tubes at the resonant frequency of the system. This resonant frequency can be used to measure the process fluid density. When the flow starts, there is a time shift between the measurements at sensors A and B. This effect is caused by the deflection of the tube, explained previously. The resulting time shift is proportional to the mass flow rate. Therefore, as the mass flow rate increases, so the time shift increases. The Coriolis mass flow meter, due to the symmetrical design, performs equally well with reverse flow and is therefore a truly bidirectional instrument. Gases and liquids coexist in many industrial processes. Their combination, however, can pose challenges for flow measurement. To understand how liquids with entrained gas can be measured reliably, please click the tabs. plant produces a precursor of polymers. The production process relies on the measurement of liquid mixtures which tend to outgas and cause gas fractions in the medium. Due to measurement failures based on the high air content, the dosing of the raw materials could not be controlled continuously. Therefore the process was frequently interrupted. The installation of Coriolis mass flow meters with Entrained Gas Management, or EGM, enabled the continuous measurement at gas concentrations from 0 to 100%. Even sudden changes in the gas content do not cause any measuring failures. Therefore, less treatment of the liquids by gas separators before the dosing is required. To learn more about the efficiency gains obtained in this example, please click on the next tab. icons to learn more about the efficiency gains. A production plant for fluoride derivatives must meet a measuring accuracy of plus minus 0.35% in monitoring the flow rates of a gas mixture with very low densities between 5 and 7.5 kilograms per cubic meter. Please click on the icon to learn more about the efficiency gains. The measurement of liquid nitrogen can be a challenge. Highly repeatable results are needed despite entrained gas arising at the boiling point of nitrogen at minus 196 degrees Celsius. Coriolis mass flow meters are suitable for the measuring of cryogenic products of up to minus 200 degrees Celsius, enabling an optimized process design. Please click on the icons to learn more about the efficiency gains.
Because the reactants can be a testing of new liquid detergents, different liquids are mixed in varying proportions. Replacing weighing scales by mass flow meters, the reactants can be added to the mixer with extreme accuracy, simultaneously through the ring lines. Please click on the icons to learn more about the efficiency gains. The of phosgene derivatives needs to measure the exact amount of highly aggressive and corrosive liquids when loading them into road tankers for delivery. In this case, the continuous operation of flow meters for several years is ensured based on measuring tubes made from tantalum. Can form in biological wastewater treatment, floating sludge can form under certain circumstances. In order to avoid a pollution of the purified wastewater, the sludge must be treated quickly with flocculants to prevent sludge washout. A Coriolis mass flow meter that measures flow and total solids concentration in a single instrument replaces a laboratory analysis workflow which used to determine the required amount of flocculants. It produces specialty oils through the distillation of heavy crude oils. This includes the reprocessing of slop oil which is a challenging medium since it is thick and viscous and must be measured at temperatures of up to plus 400 degrees Celsius. The challenge here is the accuracy and repeatability of the measurement at high temperatures. A refinery produces specialty oils through the distillation of heavy crude oil. Preparation plant, a coal handling and preparation plant, uses a density thickener as part of a tailings disposal system. Traditionally, radiometric density measurement has been employed on thickener underflow lines to measure abrasive concentrated solids streams. To avoid the high total cost and regulatory requirements, a more environmentally friendly flow meter replaced a nuclear density gauge in measuring the density of abrasive concentrated solids. Life dairy products. In the production of fresh and long life dairy products, the volume of the raw milk and the milk yield are monitored using a Coriolis mass flow meter. Thanks to entrained gas management, EGM, the flow meter allows for a continuous measurement of mass, volume flow, and density, even at difficult process conditions, with two-phase flow. Production of camembert. A cheese dairy's production of camembert cheese requires a salt concentration of exactly 30% in the brine for the ripening process. A Coriolis mass flow meter guarantees that this concentration can be maintained by measuring the mass flow as well as the density of the salt brine. Manufacturer needs to in producing various types of fruit juices, a food manufacturer needs to establish just the right balance between sweet and sour. A Coriolis mass flow meter reliably calculates the sugar concentration in the fruit juice based on integrated BRICS concentration measurement.